Hi, it's Brendan here from Strength and Conditioning Education. I'm here with the man himself, Ali Jawad. How are you, my friend? Good, thank you. How good are you? to see you. Yeah, I'm good. I'm really good. So, tomorrow you're doing an able bodied powerlifting competition. Yeah. Right? You're going to go for a big bench? I hope so, yeah. I hope so. I hope yeah. so. Yeah. So, what we thought would be really cool was we've got one of the world's best benches right here today, one of our brand ambassadors, and you're gonna take us through a few of your kind of warm-up drills to get you get yourself ready to to be, to bench big, right? Yeah, yeah. So what do you want to start with, mate? So first of all, foam roller. Yeah. So usually what I do with this is now I've got a lot of um, my back gets really tight when I bench press. Yeah. Because your back does a lot of work to fixate you on the bench. Yes. It gets quite tight. Yeah. So what I start with is actually quite simple just roll your back yeah yep. so I make sure that I do like it's a bit like a sit-up but I try and like extend and so you're going mid back here mid back yeah to upper back upper yeah back, yeah yeah this yeah. yeah. gets my um range and flexibility um better. yeah I do that for like a minute yeah and then I change it up and then I'll go higher mm-hmm yeah and make sure that my arms are straight I'll go up and down as well so you yeah. get the you kind of get the whole right into the thoracic yeah. spine now, yeah, yeah. It is a common stiff area in, in general for a lot of people. This isn't especially it? for bench presses. Especially for bench, yeah. So you're going thoracic spine, all those muscles on the vertebrae. Yeah, yeah. Literally all the way down the back, and then obviously then I change it up and go with with like roll out your lats as well. Yeah. Because your lats work very very hard on the bench press, because my technique my elbows are tucked in yes so obviously your lats yeah. are responsible for tucking yeah. your elbows in aren't so they so it's stabilizing Stab and tucking yeah. them in yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. And your lats are under a lot of load even holding it in place because you see people who are weaker in the lats their elbows flare don't flare. they and flaring also leads to shoulder uh, it does issues. yeah for sure so yeah. that's why your lats have to be very very strong yeah I've had that myself and I can feel it when you, I mean there's a technical issue, you've got to have the right yeah. grip and stuff but if you don't get that right it's, it's going to lead to those shoulder impingements isn't it yeah and that's why I think Technique is so important when it comes to bench press. A lot of people think it's easy to bench press, and it is. Yes. But people get it so wrong. Yeah, yeah. And they and they do have a lot of shoulder issues, which, for me, can be um can be, it can be avoided. Mm. What are your kind of biggest mistakes people make on a bench then? Oh, for me, I think, probably, I think for me, elbows. Yeah. That's the big thing for me because, yeah. obviously, a lot of a lot of benchers that I've seen will have their elbows out. Yes. Now, obviously. Yeah. At that 90 degree angle, the pressure on your shoulder is massive. But also as well, because you're so wide, then your chest collapses as well. Mm -hmm. So that means you're actually internally rotating when mm -hmm. you're coming down to bench. Yeah. So actually, the f you actually push further. Yeah. So for me, like keeping your elbows in, in. will automatically lift your chest up. Yeah. I think anyway. Yeah, yeah. That's good. Good tips. So foam rolling. What's next? Right. So this band. Yeah. As I said. Shoulders are probably the most kind of most avoided uh, kind of muscle group when it comes yeah. to the bench press. Yeah. And a lot of people make a common mistake and not actually warm up their shoulders properly. Yeah. So what I do is, if you hold that for me, yeah. start off with external rotation. Yeah. And I do that so for ninety degree. Ninety degree. Yeah. Make sure that you don't just like yeah. you don't just um, wave it about. Make sure that you're very strict. And you actually get the whole control. range and yeah. control it, and like kind of pause at the top as well. Yes. So you get, you actually feel that it's working. You do like, so I do like three sets of ten on um, each side. Yeah. Then I change it up, then I go internal. Yeah. It's what are you thinking on these with your sort of shoulder setting here, Ali? Like in terms of, are you, are you keeping that flat? Are you relaxing your shoulder? Yeah, I'm just relaxing it. Yeah. And I'm um, literally just trying to get into that position. Yes. Because um. Yeah. Obviously, when you bench press, you get quite tight. Yeah. So sometimes, when I do bench big, my range kind of limits it. This actually helps my range to come back because I'm, I'm holding it as well. Yeah. So it kind of counters the uh, the tightness. Good balance for yeah. you. Yeah. Yeah. And it's I a like great, it. And it's a great warm up, warm up for, for bench press. Yeah. Yeah. And sure. also, it's also injury prevention as well. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, they're the two that I do. Yeah. Internal and external. Internal and external. Ninety degrees. Yeah. Nice. What sort of sets and reps for them? So three sets of ten. Yeah. Like really get it warm. In your warm up. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Um, don't go to fatigue, obviously. Yeah. Just make sure that you, you've, you've done the movement. 
you're you're warm and you're ready to bench press. Yeah. So that's nice. Yeah. And you said you can do that on cable as well as band. Yeah, you can do it whichever. As long yeah. as you get the position. Yeah. And you've got some sort of resistance. Yeah. It should be. It should be okay. And so we've done the foam roller. We've done that, and then what? In terms of getting into the bench now, just give us a quick sort of warm up set progression. What would you normally do? So I always start no matter what with the bar. Yeah. I see a lot of people just chuck weight on yeah. without really. No, I agree. Uh, I agree. So for me, like I always start with the bar and do actually three sets of ten with the bar. First. And it's technique work that as well, isn't it? It is. It's, it's, it's actually, an opportunity yeah. to do you, technique you've work. You've got thirty reps there to yeah. actually practice your yeah, technique, yeah, yeah. and you get yourself ready to kind of. We well, get the movement pans, you know, ready yeah. for for the yeah. big, for the big weights. Yeah, yeah. So then, what would you do then? Would you go barbell into tens or twenties and jump up there? So I'd go maybe tens with the bar. And then I'll go like five at 60, five at 80, five at 100, and suddenly I'll reduce my, my reps. Yeah. Depends what session I have. Yes. Uh, so for example, the other day, I was doing 10 reps at 150. Yeah. So I kept kind of, I kept my warm up to five reps. So yeah. I didn't burn up myself out for the, for the working sets of 150. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And bearing in mind, you're doing a, you've got a, a, a one RM around the 200 mark. Yeah. So. We're kind of doing a little bit more volume up to about 50% 1RM, 100 for you-ish. Uh, and then we're going to drop the volume a little bit and just do doubles yeah. to get that, to groove the pattern and keep the speed. Yeah, yeah. yeah. To kind of save yourself for the, uh, for the working sets. Nice. Good. So really good warm-ups. Keep yourself safe. Get your shoulders warmed up and make sure that you can actually have longevity on the bench press. And that's something I always see is that some people, they're, they're pretty strong on the bench, but then one month they're injured, next month they're training a bit, then it's their injury. It's just, it's just longevity that you need to get strong, isn't it? Well, I think, I think with injuries you can, you can avoid them if you do the right things. And a lot of people are not disciplined doing the right things. Yeah. They'll do it for a week, they'll get bored, and then they'll stop doing it yeah. until it's too late. Yeah, sure. Thanks for watching, guys. Throw those warm-ups into your pressing routines to see better results. Thank you, Ali, mate. We'll be back again soon. Cheers, thank you.